All right, yeah, I got some bright shorts on today. And my shoes match. Jake pointed it out, I'm matching. Great. Sometimes you just like to match, okay? I've always liked to match. Don't judge me. We got core day. Notice I said core and not abs. How do you train abs, bro? Yeah, it's cool to have abs, but it's also cool to be injury free, man. That's even cooler than having abs. Now, we're gonna give you the opportunity to have both. Because today, we're training not just abs, we're gonna hit some intercostals, some serratus, lower back, psoas, we're doing the whole damn thing. Because to have a strong core, it's more than just coming in and doing some crunches. We're gonna start off with a little ball toss, we're gonna do some GHR, we're gonna do some hyper extensions, then we're gonna throw some other funky exercises at you guys. So, only watch this video if you guys wanna be the complete package. If you just wanna be an ornament, if you just wanna look happy hanging on a tree, just all visual, no functionality, click off this video right now. But if you wanna come in and be a weapon, yeah, I said a weapon, then continue to watch this. Maybe even give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not. Let's get to work. All right, first up, we got a reverse hyper extension. Now, if you don't have this awesome machine, the reverse hyper, and you have a GHR, you can also do them on here. Pretty much anywhere that's gonna allow you to elevate your feet while keeping your back stationary. 15 reps. You ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. warming up the old posterior chain. So obviously, on this exercise, working some hip complex, final erectors, some glutes, even a little bit of hamstrings on there. Hitting that posterior chain, getting that strengthened. From there, next up, we got a very, I'll call it an explosive movement for the core. It's a GHR sit up. So we're gonna be having our back off. You know, the only thing that's touching is the hamstrings, and a little bit of glute. I'm gonna go down, nice and slow, touch the bottom. From there, it's gonna start in on my quads and my hips. I flex that, and that's gonna initiate, right? It's gonna initiate that movement, and then I come up and touch my toes. Take 30 seconds and then meet me over there where the med ball's at. You, you video? You already on? All right. Let's go. Next thing we got up today, we're gonna be doing, it's basically gonna be a lateral jump, med ball toss. So it's a fun one too. You're gonna get close to the wall, you're gonna explode onto one leg, load that one leg. Really, I try to think about loading more through my hamstring a little bit, my glute, and then you're gonna explode rotationally, throw the ball into the wall, and then every time you're just gonna reset close to the wall, jump back out, and toss and, it again. And Coach Hutton, it's Coach Hutton by the way. Coach Hutton, why is it important that we don't just work in the frontal plane and the sagittal plane? Why is it important that we do rotational work? I mean, this one for me, a lot of athletics are obviously rotational, right? Exactly. So when you think about, you're gonna punch somebody, you're gonna swing a bat. Real it's life all just, happens in rotation. Yeah. So you really wanna think about loading and then throwing that hip into the wall, which a lot of people don't do. They're just gonna throw with their hands, you wanna load, Explode, boom, throw that hip. And that's what's gonna be more powerful. If you're hitting someone in football, hitting a baseball, punching somebody. Basically, yeah. if you wanna be an athlete. Yeah, I said it like that, athlete. Just, it's all in the hips. Next up, 
we got toes to the bar. Except for we're gonna do it with a med ball. If you don't have a med ball and you wanna do this, instead of just doing toes to the bar, toes to the bar and then feet to the ceiling. So I'm gonna show that first. Gonna be here, toes to the bar, feet to the ceiling. Toes to the bar, feet to the ceiling. Toes, feet. Or you get your med ball and we go toes to the bar. Next up, we got a decline setup with a med ball toss. Now, what we're doing here, we got two things. Eccentrically, we're catching it and slowing down the ball, keeping it above our head, and then we're snapping forward and throwing it. So we get the explosiveness when we come back up on the concentric part. Quarterback Brody here is gonna be just throwing dimes to me. So what we're gonna be doing here, obviously rolling out, we're in kind of a plank position just with our hands on the roller. As we roll out, you can stop wherever you need to to get that bar back. Obviously the further you go out, the harder it's gonna be. Another way to make it harder or easier, keeping your butt tight. So if I'm out here, and I want to cheat it, my butt's going to come up and then I'm going to roll back. Our goal is to keep that, that backside tight and use our abs to roll it up. All right, here we have a band resisted sit up. Obviously we've strapped the band around something that's going to be solid and then around Jake's chest. This is pulling it back as he's sitting up, really concentrating on the get on that crunch, shorting that pelvic, that pelvis area, instead of just sitting all the way up and using a lot of psoas, crunching, using those ab muscles, and then it's just nice little resistance there. All right guys, next movement we got today is gonna be a reverse V-up with our feet on the sliders. So, we love the sliders. You can use for a ton of variations. You can just pick those bad boys up at Walmart for like nothing, right? Right. So, Steve's doing a variation here. He's lifted up a little bit because he's not as flexible. So it's gonna make it, it's still gonna be super challenging, but make it so he can keep his legs straight and get all the way up. So really, you're gonna be targeting your lower abs a ton on this one. The goal though is to come back into a nice plank at the bottom. So you don't wanna overextend and let your lumbar spine come into uh, extension. You wanna keep it nice and tight in flexion and then come back up. Woo! Burn so good makes me wanna slap your mama. Like most great athletes just generate a lot of force in their hips. They have like really good explosion. You think about tackling, tackling someone, you think about jumping in any about sport. Laying pipe, yes. Laying pipe. So are you saying good athletes are also the best lovers? You know?
that's so true. So it's what we call an entire core day. You can see why. A lot of different movements in there. Not just the abs. Really getting that rotational power. Because if you're gonna be an athlete, it all starts in your core. I mean, talk about back injuries. As we get older, a lot more sitting. Deconditioned state. So many back injuries occur. 80% of adults have a back injury at some point in your life. Keep training your core, not just your abs. Woo! Thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna see more workouts like this, check out Fitness Culture's page. Check out the app. We got programs for just about every single goal out there. So make sure you guys follow along. See you guys next time.